despair not. Lift up your voice like a trumpet and tell my people their transgressions and the house of Yaakov, Jacob, their sins. Blow ye the trumpets in Zion. Sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of Yahuwah, Yahweh, is at hand. Your mouth is a trumpet. Blow ye the shofar. Amen. Good evening, and I'm, I'm happy that you tune in to be, be with us. Uh, I bless our Father and give honor unto Him because He is the absolute greatest God of gods. There's no one like Him. He's our King of kings. He's our Father of fathers. And, and, and I can say He's the Father Mother of, of Father Mother. And so, so you know He loves you. And I'm glad you joined the family tonight. And see, I got my oil in my hand and everything. Listen. This, I'm going to put some on my lips to see what Father going to bring through my lips, through my fingertips, and everything that I have that will bless his holy name. And pray that he send forth his anointed word that has oil, and I pray that he touch your body, your heart, your mind, your soul right now. And I pray if you got a frown on your face because you were disappointed, I pray Father give you such joy that you just have to smile. Now look at me. Now don't I look pretty? See, smile, smile, hallelujah. See, that, that makes you feel better when you smile. It relaxes your face and everything. And you, you stop that crying. Now, you don't need to be crying because the Father said help is on the way. He is your help. And he loves you very much. You hear me? Hallelujah. There's a lot of disappointments in our lives. But the Father helps us with everything. Listen, I... I um, I am going to be talking about H-E-L-L and uh, because I, and I, I uh, came across an uh, article, no first of all I was looking at something about hell and then I was thinking again about hell and I was, and then I was looking at some t t statistics ab about the, now I'm not going to quote the statistics I'll just say I was looking at sins and, and uh, tr uh, tr understanding again, you know, the sins are destroying Father's people. And then I went and I typed in statistics for abortion and I found I, I, we have killed so many babies. It is, it is so terrible. That's why so many things are going on. And I can't quote all the statistics to you, but I'll just let you know that uh, then, I, then I, I couldn't help it. I, get, I could say, because I'm black, I, I put in black men and jail, and the highest in, 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 in the United States is black folk. And so I looked at the, the men, and I said, oh, heavenly Father. And then I'm looking and say, what does this have to do with hell? I'm going to get there for a minute, because sin has to do with hell. Sin is connected with hell, no matter how you look at it. And so then I said, oh my goodness. So then I typed in teenage, teenage pregnancy, and there's a whole, thank you, Father, that they had the baby. They are having the babies. But I'm going, oh my gosh, all of this is sin. And I say, Father, and, and Father is saying to me, and, and you know, if, you don't, if we don't get the word to the people, to, so they can get delivered, then where you think they're headed? And so while I'm going with this in my head, and I typed in adultery, oh, forget that. That's a big whole thing too. Way up there in America. I didn't, I didn't type all over the world. Just in America, it's terrible. And then the divorce rate, again, high. So I didn't even get to type in how many people are uh, on drugs? Uh, I didn't type in how many people, and that wasn't, uh, they, when I typed in abortion, teenage, that wasn't black. The only black I did was to see about the males. The rest of it, I just typed in statistics. And they are way up there. So prayer was taken out of school. A lot of other things going on. We're having problem with, uh, we haven't, I have to say that we have the same sex marriages. 
uh, uh, people teaching the little kids in school uh, uh, how to open their minds and you know just accept things and which father did not put in his word for people to accept not only is it abomination to wear men's clothes if you're a female it's an abomination if you're a female to wear men's clothes but then you have but father put abomination with that but the other sins will take you to hell too if you lie guess what if you don't repent guess where you're going to end up if 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 you are uh, still it's the same thing running around covered you're not even supposed to cover so i came across this uh no you think i didn't say nothing about hell but listen again i was typing in something and it says scientists who dug into hell in siberia and recorded the cries of the damn souls now now I'm going to read a little bit about what he said, but I'm going to tell you this. You go and look it up, then you'll find somebody that says it's all a lie. It never happened. Whatever it is, people got saved. So I'm going on a premise that it did happen. That's why I'm sharing it with you. And I'll tell you why. After I share it, it says, is this possibly biblical? And, and then it says, yes, it's possible. The Bible says in the book of Amos 9, 2, Though they dig into hell, then shall mine hand take them, though they climb up to heaven, which I bring them down. So it is possible to dig into hell according to the above verse. Now, uh, this says, It is said that a man reported to a Finnish F-I-N-N-I-S-H newspaper Amanusastia, I may not be pronouncing it right, that they had dug into hell and recorded the cries of damned souls. The man who reported to the newspaper, Dr. Alza Cole, C-O-V-E, was one of the scientists who were drilling the Kola super deep borehole in Siberia, Russia. At the time, the cries were recorded by use of a special microphone designed to detect tectonic plate movements. I didn't look up tectonic plate movements, but whoever you are out there that understand, you know what that means. I just saw movements. The microphone was lowered down through the shaft of the drilling equipment. It says, the story went as follows. As follow. The following article, okay, appeared in the well-respecting, excuse me, as a communist, this is what this doctor said, as a, or this scientist, as a communist, I don't believe in heaven or the Bible. But as a scientist, I now believe in hell, said Dr. Azazko. Needless to say, we were shocked to make such a discovery. But we know what we saw and we know what we heard. And we are absolutely convinced that we drilled through the gates of hell. Dr. Oza Cole continued, the drill suddenly began to rotate wildly, indicating that we had reached a large empty pocket or cavern. Temperature sensors showed a dramatic increase in heat to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. We lowered a microphone designed to detect the sounds of plate movements down the shaft but instead of plate movements, we heard a human voice screaming in pain. At first, we thought the sound was coming from our own equipment. But when we made adjustments, our worst suspicions were confirmed. The screams weren't those of a single human. They were the screams of millions of humans. Of, of, uh, of humans. And so the reason I'm reading this now, I did check further and like I said somebody said they made up the story and somebody say some other things whatever it is let me tell you why I'm sharing it with you I'm sharing it with you because the Heavenly Father had given me a book to to write called the power of a Hebrew mother and it's basically written in, 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 in poetic form but there are there are prophecies, I believe, they, uh, there's the latter part of the book, okay, let me back up a bit. It's written to encourage women to rise up and, and use their tears as weapons against the enemy. 
And so it was written for that purpose, but toward the end of the book, the father began to give me other things and he told me to call them leaf, like leaf, L-E-A-F number one, leaf number two. Now I didn't know when he told me this that they actually do call book leaves a book. So you can imagine my other astonishment when I found out they actually call a page in a book a leaf. I say that to say in my book, I heard those same cries. And that's why, I, that's why I'm sharing this. And I'm going to read this leaf number 15 to you. It won't take long. So you can understand why. And I wrote this. I, I cre this book was created in 2005. 2005. This was the first time in my life that I did not sleep for two whole days and I could not come down out of heaven. It took me about a month to come down. That's why I praise Father for the husband that he had given me that understood these things because I couldn't come down. And you saw people talk about, about the visions of angels. They, they took me different places. And they showed me a lot of things, and it's in, the, in this book, and they will share things. So, leaf number 15, let me, I'm a, it's, it's a few paragraphs, so I'm going to read it. It's, it says, in the midst of everything, because he was showing me stuff, when I turned around, I saw nations and nations of people of languages unknown to me. They were standing to their feet, each and every one. Every person was a light, and these greater lights were with them. I looked down at my feet, but could not see them for the light. While gazing at the light, numerous angels gathered above us again, and in the middle was the greatest light of all. The other lights were pale in comparison, but together the lights were all swaying to music, clapping loudly, yet it was sweet and low. I heard the sound of a very low humming. It was a continuous humming sound, different from the music. The humming felt as if it were coming from heaven and earth at the same time. I was instructed to look up again. I looked up. The sun was on fire. The fire was burning rapidly. I could see smoke scorching heat. I could hear humming. The fire became huge flames waving in every direction headed for the earth. I saw a round huge ball of red fire loose itself from its heavenly anchor. The fire fanned outward into wings of fire with the smoke billowing from behind. This fiery winged ball was moving towards the center of the earth. I could hear humming. The front of the ball of fire was a face, an angry face filled with eyes of fire and fury. As I looked upon the huge wings of fire, a lake of fire came into view. I saw this, you all. And as I watched, I saw it spread as far as my eyes could see. I could hear very low humming. The humming turned into wailing sounds of agony and pain. Within the humming sounds, I could hear different words. Help me, I am burning, it is hot, I am in pain, I am sorry that I did not listen. Please help me somebody. The humming sounded like moaning and screams and more screams. I was very frightened. The spirit of Yah spoke to my heart, be not afraid. I am your protection. Look again, he said. I looked. The lake had disappeared. And so when I read this in, uh, with this Dr. Ozzyko about these, the, all these sounds, and there's a video, and the video actually captured sounds, of, and it sounds like people are crying in agony. That's how it sounds. And the, uh, the sounds was awful. And they say they had tape, tape recorded everything. And, but they took, 
I don't know if the governor did it. Somebody took they, all this stuff away from them. Don't know whether this is true or not. But they took everything away from them because somebody managed to, to save a, 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 a recorded thing of these sounds. And I can't even tell you, I know it's, 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 it's on, on a video. So I, those all things was coupled together, which made me start thinking about hell again. And the fact that so many of our people that are uh, 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 aborting their babies, sleeping with, we used to say, sleeping with every Tom, Dick, and Harry. Now it must be Mary Jane and in, 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 in Betty Mae. And it's just messing up all over the place. In Revelation 21, 8, it says, But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and homemongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. You don't want to go there. I'm going to skip around with some of the, uh, 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 some of the, let me expand on that a minute. It says, okay, but the fearful. It says, not the, timor the timorous sheep and lambs of Messiah, the dear children of Yahuwah, of God, who are sometimes of a fearful heart. I'm still reading, I'm expanding on the Revelation 21, verse 8 verse. But the fearful. Uh, uh, the fearful heart on account of sin, temptation, and unbelief. But such who are of cowardly spirits and are not valent for the truth, but who through fear of men either make no profession of Christ, Messiah, and his gospel, or having made it, drop it, lest they should be exposed to tribulation and persecution. These are they that are afraid of the beast and live in servile bondage to him. And I looked at that, and I remember asking a question. You've been, you've been part of this, whatever I'm doing for 10 years or 10 years. When have, have you got anybody saved? What are you doing? Uh, the question I ask, what are you doing feeding yourself and letting the, the, the uh, Father's word just pour all out of your mouth? You made so much his word. Are you feeding anybody with the word? So here, the, the fearful and unbelieving. And, and, and you know, young people, well, anyway, bless young people and bless those that got the truth. And unbelieving, meaning not merely atheists, who do not believe there is a God, or desist only that do not, des, D -E -I -S -T -S, that do not believe in Messiah, but such who profess his name and are called by it, and yet do not truly believe in him, nor embrace his gospel, the truth, but believe a lie. These are condemned already. Then you have the abominable, abominable. Every sin from man is so in the sight of you. Who I'm skipping a bit. They pollute themselves. They sin all, all the time. Filthy sin. And you might not. Do you know what sin is? Sin is all of those things. You go to the Ten Commandments. You got just ten there, but it's a whole lot. That's just that ten is put there. But there's five books of laws and things that, that we break every day. And for Father to allow you to be able to look at 10, to try to do 10 so that he can save you. Because when the Spirit will get a hold of you, you will read all through the scripture. And Psalm 119 is, is wonderful that illustrates his commandments are still, are still in operation. And that's the book he's going to bring, bring before us when we go. Uh, let me see, I'm, I'm going to share a few scriptures here before, so you can, uh, oh, okay. Isaiah 5, verse 14 says, Therefore hell hath enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure, and their glory and their multitude and their pomp, and he that rejoices shall descend in it. Isaiah 14, verse 9 says, Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirs up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It hath raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. Hallelujah. 
And Isaiah 14, 15 said, thou, Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. That might have been the one where he was talking to the adversary. Uh, Isaiah, uh, let me see if there's another one here. Uh, I made, uh, Ezekiel 31, verse 16, I made the nation to shake at the sound of the, his, his fall when I cast him down to hell with them that descend into the pit and all the trees of Eden, to the choice and the best of leaven and all that drink water shall be comforted in neither parts of the earth. Is there a hell? Hallelujah. Uh, after after uh, Father had shown me these, uh, you know, that article, and then I went to my book, and I saw that written there. How about this? How about I went and saw a video where they showed the sun was so hot, and I could not believe. They actually said that that the sun, uh, that portion, look, portion of the sun breaks away, which lets me know that. Father gave me what I wrote in this book. So you don't want your family to go to hell and you don't want to go. And I surely don't want to go. I don't want to spend all my day up here talking and carrying on and not walking the walk and then Father gonna beckon his hand to me and say, but, but I never knew you. I don't want him to do that. Psalm 18, 5 say, the sorrows of hell comp compass me about. The snares of death prevented me. But you could go on and you could think about the different things uh, that's in the Word and different people. Just take a moment and, and look around you and think about the people that you know. What are they doing? Hallelujah. Are they trying to do righteous things? You could tell. Hallelujah. And, and I'm glad that I have a family because they can tell whether I'm out here preaching one thing and, and, and then going home being another thing. You can't do that because we have our Heavenly Father and He is watching over us. He does not want you going there. Yeah, I remember when uh, Abraham, everybody had to wait in a holding place when, until Messiah was crucified so that they could be released. And I'm saying, well, where in the world are they? But I saw a video on that too. And it was showing like three segments of the earth. And it said that Abraham's bosom was in the first segment there. And you remember it said Messiah went down and he freed them or let, uh, uh, freed them and set them free so that they could then uh, go to heaven, wherever heaven is. Heaven might be right here. But all, this is what I mean by that. We can't see, so we don't, we don't know. We look upward because we believe what Father said that Jerusalem will come down out of the heavenlies. But it is so urgent that, that we try to help people when they see, uh, when they are doing wrong things. You got, you got mothers and fathers don't even know how to scare their kids so that their kids, well, I'm probably in the, in the same boat. I don't have, well, I have one daughter-in-law and two granddaughters, but I'm surely showing them things because they need to know, they need to know that um, Father's listening to everything. And I, I was telling my, my granddaughter, I said, I said, when we do something wrong, I said, I said, Father's right there with us. I say, the problem when some people do wrong things, they don't realize that Father looking at them, the angels looking at them, that it's like watching a TV. They watching us like we watch a TV. And I say, you have no fear of father if you do this stuff it means you don't know him that's what i mean by that and so so you don't want nobody to go to hell i share that little piece with you or uh, having to do with hell and this might not fit in with what i'm talking about but i feel like i need to share this because it was something else i've been asking father about being caught up and i i've been going over this a lot trying to figure out why is it and listen and, and somebody say no offense uh, even when I read stuff it'll say all the Christians say they're gonna be caught up and I would always say father they're gonna be caught up and gonna leave us I don't understand how most of the time they leave us out totally so I said what is with that then I heard another ministry that said well it doesn't mean being caught up 
like caught up physically with your body, it means that you caught up in the spirit. And so you rejoicing in the spirits, I heard that. And then I thought about that. And then I came across another uh, a video and they were talking about being caught up. First of all, I saw a picture. And the picture had this, this spaceship. And this spaceship was, uh, was, was, the people was going up in this spaceship. And then I read beside the spaceship where it says, there are people or things out there that's putting something together that the people are gonna think it's Jesus. They're gonna send a ship, they, not a ship, or no, a spaceship. They're gonna think it's Jesus. They're gonna do holograms. They're going to uh, make sounds go everywhere. And they're gonna, they're gonna, and they using chauffeurs to make it think that it's, it's, it's farther when it's not. So said these people that get caught up, they're not, they're not gonna be alive after that. It's those that are going through tribulation, but I need to quit here. So listen, uh, when you think about your, 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 your situation, your family, please do something. Lead them to the Word. Let them ask, ask Father, are you real? Ask if the Messiah is real. Ask if His Spirit is real. Help them on the path of truth and righteousness. Give them the Word. And, 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 and share with them that they don't want to go to this other place. If there is a place, and they may say, well, I don't believe there's another place. Well, they don't make it not so because you don't believe it. Do everything you can to try to help them. Hallelujah. I, I like to say, be kind to them. Do whatever, whatever you can so that they won't go, uh, won't go into hell. Listen, it's at the end of this. If you don't know the Messiah, ask him into your heart and repent of your sins so that we can spend eternity together. Okay, just remember this, that the fearful and unbelieving is going to be left outside because they're scared. Those that are committing fornication, adultery, and all those other things, homemongering, uh, uh, worship, doing uh, mag mag not bad magic stuff, Whatever it is, y'all know what I'm saying. Messing up, going to wizards and stuff, and all of this. Get out of that stuff, and 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 let Father use you in a mighty way. Thank you for being with us this evening. I hope I share something that will open your mind, and you just want to just check it out anyway. May Father bless you and keep you. May His face shine upon you, and may He keep your heart in perfect peace. Thank you again. We love you, and Father, thank you for the wonderful crew. Hallelujah. Thank you for, for Effie, um, Effie Hefner and Ellen. Spare not. Lift up your voice like a trumpet and tell my people their transgressions and the house of Yaakov Jacob their sins. Blow ye the trumpets in Zion. Sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of Yahuwah, Yahweh, is at hand. Your mouth is trumpet. Blow ye the shofar. Amen.